My name is Leo Ryan, and I'm going to talk about how learning live drawing can transform creative work. I have myself a degree in classical academical drawing, and I've been art educator for the past decade. I believe that anyone could benefit from learning live drawing and that great things come from mixing different educational approaches, genres and discipline. My personal education process was far from ideal. Uh, classic uh, academic schools always were quite elitistic and there is a strong mentality of coping and coping in order to learn. And instead of draw like Matisse, draw like Picasso, draw like your teacher, in my own classes, I try to implement the process where people stay in their own individual creative flow and achieve their own goals. So actually become their own Picasso. In the same time, learning something for a very first time can be challenging. Just look at this Renaissance kittens. I bet that the artist cannot make, uh, cannot make uh, kids stay still and there is no photo, uh, photo, anything photo related invented. So basically they have to draw them from memory and instead of drawing them from life and that's the result. But fortunately for us, inhabitants of 2020, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. What we can do is learn to practice thinking in the same visual concepts like old masters. For example, scale and perspective, light and shadow, texture, colors and symbols, empty spaces versus full spaces. I'm going to talk about the skills and, and the process of learning them in a little bit more detail. So one of our really great skills is sketching and drawing with live hand. You could learn this skill by learning to draw live. So you learn to think with your hand. And this, this is an example of modern artist Miles Johnson, who shared his very first draft and his final artwork. The cool thing about this skill is that it can be used for literally anything from photography to design to planning. The next skill is learn rules to break rules. Most visual rules we use, we learn unconsciously, intuitively. We see huge amount of content and most of the time we say, we can say then we see harmonical picture, for example, on Instagram, but we don't analyze it. And if we learn those rules, we could achieve higher level of creative awareness. And this is a good example of this principle. We know that we know the proportions of hand to the head and miles exaggerate them. It's very simple, but it makes artwork much more interesting. And this, this is an example of effective rule breaker. We live in the era of a huge amount of content. And in our daily life, we encounter so much colors. For example, we go to Obi to pick up a paint and we choose from 10,000 samples and we pick one, but we don't analyze them. And the thing about colors that it's almost impossible to truly understand them without understanding the light. The light can be warm, the light can be cold, it can be hard and diffused. And by learning to practically draw it, we get to learn the whole bunch of science behind it. Another really important thing is symbolism. Symbolism is strongly connected to human history. When we learn it, we, uh, when we learn history, uh, the amount of symbols we understand grows. And the understanding about how many more layers in the systems we're already using can dramatically extend our horizons and our creative range. And one of the most important skills that I love to teach people is creative decision making. One of the greatest key, uh, one of the great myths about artists is that they draw things that they just see in their mind or they draw how they feel. Why it might be true for some people, for majority of artists, the process of creating is a process of active thinking and decision making. What is the most important part of this artwork and what is secondary? What is the brighter? What is the darker? What should pop? What should be central? Some people do it more verbally and some less. And like there are people who don't have constant inner monologue, but they still think. Same with art, verbal or not, it's a thinking process. And learning this skill via life drawing uh, have a potential of transforming whole decision-making muscle without the need to process every single decision with words. 
And as a great bonus, it improves the ability to choose your own work. I see that among a lot of modern creators who do great job in all other aspects, but they don't know how to choose their own work. Most people know their inner creative process in their professional field, but they don't realize the whole bunch of cultural layers behind it. As, and as soon as we give ourselves the opportunity to practically decompose other creative work, the soon we become more independent creatively. And that is the ultimate goal. This is for me is the fundamental base of high professionalism to be creatively independent. Please don't hesitate to contact me with any questions. And if you're based in Berlin, please go check out my website. I teach a live drawing class twice a week and it's open to all levels. And I work really hard to make it as inclusive as possible. Thanks so much.